Hi guys, it's Melanie Newman here and Trey the Miniature Poodle. Welcome to our channel. And in today's grooming session, I'm going to teach you how to clip your poodle's face. The equipment we are going to use in today's grooming session is, we have our Wild Creativa 5-in-1 clipper. So our shortest length on this blade is 0.7 millimeters and our longest length is about three millimeters. And with Trey, I'm going to use a three millimeter on his face. When we're clipping our poodle face, the lines we are going to create is, we want a line from the corner of our ear to the corner of our eye. From the corner of our ear down to our throat and I usually go two fingers past their Adam's apple and then again from the from their throat to the corner of the ear to the corner of the eye and then the corner of the inside eye to the other eye And these are the lines that we are going to draw and then fill in with our clippers. When we clip our poodle's face, we usually clip in reverse, so against the grain of the hair. But I usually clip with and going with the direction of the hair and making sure I get all my lines nice and straight. And then my final clip, I will then clip in reverse. I haven't clipped Trey's face for quite a few months so he's really really nice and hairy. If you're having trouble getting a straight line from the corner of the eye to the corner of the ear you can use a parting comb to help create a nice straight line. Once I've separated the hair that I want to clip and the hair I want to keep. I'm just going to give a little bit of a spritz of the co-conditioning spray and then just brush that hair up that I don't want to clip. As I begin to clip from eye to ear and ear to the corner of the eye, I'm actually only going to use the edge of my clipper. So I'm going to have a lot more control and the line I want to create is going to be super sharp and super, super straight. Before I begin to clip my line from the corner of the eye to the corner of the ear, I like to see how the line naturally sits on his head without pulling his hair either side. Now I'm happy with how that line looks. Now we are going to begin clipping. And using the corner of the clipper, and I like to protect the eye as I'm clipping. So I like to hold my thumb over the eye, and I just go with the direction of the coat to begin with, you know, because he has a lot of hair. And I'm quite happy with that line. So now I'm going to clip in reverse. I'm using the corner of that blade, the last two teeth, making sure I've got that line perfect. So once I've clipped this side of the head, I now want to create my line on the other side of his head. So I want to make sure it's really, really super even. So I don't have one line down here or one line's too high. I want to make sure that it's nice and even on both sides of his head. Once I'm happy with our line, I'm going to begin clipping. So like we did with the other side, I'm going to go with the direction of the hair and then when I've perfected my line then I'm going to go against the direction of the hair. So just protect that corner of that eye and just using the corner of the clipper
Now we are going to clip in reverse. So again, protect the corner of that eye and just coming in against the direction of the hair. I've now clipped both sides of his head and now I need to clip from the corner of his ear down to near his Adam's apple. So I like to go two fingers below the Adam's apple area. The line that we want to create from the corner of the ear down to two fingers below our Adam's apple is a nice V shape. So we want that nice V shape coming down. If we pull his head up to trim this V, which seems the easiest way to clip our dog's neck, it will actually make a U shape in our dog's neck. And I prefer a nice straight V. If you prefer a U, you can slightly lift that head back and clip that area, but I like a nice straight V. So I like to actually keep his head in a natural position to clip that line. I'm going to pull back his ear, making sure I've got all the hair away that I want to keep. And then with his head in a natural straight position, And I will turn his head slightly so you will be able to see. And turn on my clippers. And again, I'm just going to use the corner of my clipper. And coming straight down towards his Adam's apple. Pull back his other ear. Just coming straight down with the corner of our clipper into that V. We're now going to clip from the corner of the inside of the eye and the other corner of the inside of the eye. I prefer to keep a little bit of hair underneath his chin so I can hold on to it and it helps me to secure his head and I can actually manoeuvre his head around as I'm clipping and I can also feel if he's going to pull away and then I'll be able to let go of the clipper and let go of his head just so he's extra comfortable. We are now going to clip in between his two eyes so the insides of his eyes and if we wanted to we can do um, a few different shapes we can actually come in to an inverted V or we can come straight across I'm actually going to come straight across today because that's going to be a lot easier for you guys to see um, the outcome at home so as we begin to clip I'm just going to turn on my clippers and I like to just hold the hair back that I don't want to clip. And I'm just going to gently come in and I'm only using one side of my blade. So this side of my blade and then on the other corner of the eye, I'll just use the other side. Good boy, Trey. So I'm just going to come in and just gently create my line. Once I'm happy with that line, I'm now going to clip in reverse. So just grab my clippers and just using the corner of that blade. We now need to clip underneath our eye. So this can be a tricky part, but I like to pull the eye tight with my fingers. Using the last two teeth of our clipper and clip in reverse and having that control 
as we're clipping. And you can clip the other way as well, making sure we get all those little hairs. But pulling that eyelid really super, super tight. The other way as well to make sure we remove all those little hairs. Because he does have a lot of hair, I'm going to still clip with the direction of his coat to start with. So we are going to go with the direction of his coat growth. One of the reasons I'm going with the direction of his hair growth is because I haven't clipped him for a long time. So I really don't want him to get any clipper irritation. So once I've clipped that area and I feel it's okay and his skin looks really good underneath, then I'm going to go in reverse to sharpen up his poodle face. As I start to clip his muzzle area, I'm still going to hold onto his little chin hairs and then just gently use my entire blade to fill in the gaps so to cut off all the hair that we we haven't cut and i'm still going to keep this little bit of chin hair for now and we really don't want to clip outside those areas that we've already created those beautiful lines keeping our blade nice and flat and not using too much pressure allowing that blade to clip all those little hairs and then our other side going with the direction again and trying to keep that blade really super flat now i'm just clipping all the areas in between our lines just making sure we've got all those little hairs and his skin's looking pretty good so i'm definitely going to come in reverse and tidy up all those little hairs and now i'm going to come in reverse starting with the top of his nose And I like to keep our blade really, really flat. So we have that nice, even cut. And now we are going to clip our mouth area and we are going to clip this in reverse, but we want to pull our skin super tight around our mouth area, because if we don't, we may graze this area. So if we keep it loose, little bits of skin might get caught in our clipper so we need to pull it really really tight and if your dog's not used to this being done um, I suggest that you just slowly work your way up to this point with your dog and don't force your dog just using the last two teeth of our blade and just clipping those little hairs on that lip line and just skim over the top as well making sure our dog is really really comfortable as we're doing this we are just going to clip in reverse on our cheek area and and clip underneath our eye in reverse and allowing our blade to clip nice and smooth. I have tidied up all his face and all I've got left is his little handle that I've been keeping and I'm going to come in and clip reverse on his little whiskers up towards his nose and in front of his nose holding his mouth shut so his tongue will not poke out 
And then I like to go with the direction of the hair underneath his little chin. I'm holding that lip area really, really super tight as we clip over it and making sure we've got no little, little hairs popping out. Once we have finished with our muzzle area, now we can just make sure we've got all little pieces and no little tufts of hair anywhere and just cross check our work. But he's looking pretty good. Trey is looking like a poodle again, which is great. Um, if you guys have any questions about today's grooming session, pop them in the comments below. And we're also going to pop um, the equipment that we've used today as well in the comments below. So you guys will be able to access them as well. Um, if you would like more grooming tips, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button when you like a video. And until next time, happy home grooming.